Hey, Math 31, I had a question on section 2.2, .2, number 53. And here's where we were given a bunch of points and asked to show that these four points actually made a rectangle. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm actually gonna to scroll to the bottom of this and I wanna show you these four points. And this isn't my greatest graph, but you can imagine if I tried to graph this, it, the way I graphed it, it actually mostly looks like a parallelogram, but theoretically, these should all be right angles, right? Because that's how you make a rectangle, that you have four right angles in there, which means that these slopes, right, the slopes here, or the slope between this line segment and this line segment should be perpendicular. This line segment and this line segment perpendicular. So if this is the point negative one, one, and this is zero, four, right? And this one over here is three, three. And then finally, this one over here is two, zero. What I want to do, and let me get the highlighter going, is I want to find the slope between this, these two points and these two points, and those should be perpendicular. I also want to find the slope between these two points and these two points, and that slope should be perpendicular. And then I also want to find the slope between these two points and these two points, and that slope should be perpendicular. And last but not least, we want to go here and here, and that should be perpendicular. So if you see my work up top, oops, excuse me, if I scroll back, back down, what I did was I found the slope between those, those sets of points. So the slope between the first set of points was three, the next one is negative one third, three and negative one third. All right, and here's where you see me actually calculating the slopes using the formula. Again, slope is always the change in y, y2 minus uh, y1 over the change in x. So that's me actually crunching all of these, and you can see that these slopes are negative reciprocals of one another, because if one slope is three, what's the slope of a line that's perpendicular to it? Well, it would be the negative reciprocal. So since all of those checked out, I've proven I've got a rectangle. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.